Welcome to Meet the Press Now. I'm Kristen Welker in Washington, where we're watching both parties and their candidates try to address some of their weakest electoral issues with less than six months to Election Day. For Republicans, that issue is abortion. For Democrats, it's the southern border, which is where we begin. Today, Senate Democrats tried to revive that bipartisan border bill that Republicans blocked earlier this year. The effort was destined to fail, but that was arguably the point. As Democrats try to pin some blame on Republicans for the ongoing migrant crisis, Senator James Lankford, who helped craft the bill, dismissing the effort as political, while Minority Leader Mitch McConnell called on President Biden to act right now. Today is not a bill. Today is a prop. Today is a political messaging exercise. The solution is a president who's willing to exercise his authority to use the tools he already has at his disposal and to start cleaning up this mess. If Senate, Senate Democrats wanted to start fixing the crisis tomorrow, they would be urging the president to do exactly that. Republicans may get what they're asking for because new exclusive reporting by NBC News reveals the Biden administration is finalizing an executive action that would allow the president to shut down the southern border temporarily. It's one of several executive actions the administration is considering as the Biden campaign looks to close the gap between the president and Mr. Trump on the issue of immigration politically. It comes as a new battleground poll shows voters say they are more worried about President Biden's policy policy on immigration than Mr. Trump's on abortion. One silver lining for the president, those numbers actually flip when you look at third party and undecided voters. We talked to some of those battleground voters in Arizona as part of our Deciders Focus Group series. The group consisted of Latino voters who are so-called double haters, frustrated with both candidates. Here's just some of what they had to say. I feel like they both contributed into not having Washington have any sort of deal in regards to immigration. I feel okay. they both had a played a part. Got it. Four of you blame Biden. The other four of you blame Biden. Why? I chose Biden because it's like you don't hear him speak about the border or try to push for any change or policies in the border. And that's all you would hear about Trump, even though all he would talk about is a wall. But at least he would. That's something. <laughs> But it just keeps denying that it, there's anything wrong with the border. Just keeps saying that there's being taken care of, it's being taken care of. Okay. Got it. And by a show of fingers, who would like to see, if he's reelected to a second term, President Trump finish the wall with Mexico? Who would like to see that? One of you. For the rest of you, why would you want to see the wall completed? I just don't think it's effective. Like, I mean, a lot of it was already put up and you see whether it's Trump or Biden's fault, you still see people coming through. It's expensive. It's been proven to not necessarily help. A lot of people that come in usually fly and overstay their, their visa. So it just doesn't make sense to me. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.